got one. Up there. What? This one's pretty nice. This one's real nice. Leave it there, take a picture, and let it go. Whoa, it's a big brown. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a, it's a big coho. Yeah. Wow. I think it's a brown trout. I think so. The way it's jumping, yeah. Yeah, it's a brown. I'm gonna try to nut it. Yeah, I'm just gonna let it tire out a little bit. And then uh, that net is kind of small, yeah. but it has to go in head first. So it has to swim in yeah. and then lift it straight up. So, but. Do you fish out here often or not? Yeah. All right. Okay, so it's gonna go in head first, head first. And then lift, oh, hold on. Watch it, watch it, cause, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. 
Okay. It's, it's the net's real small. Yeah, yeah. This is a huge fish. Yeah. Or is this normal? Uh, this is a. Uh, it's pretty big. Can you just grab the fishing pole? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grab it up. Yep. And then what I'm gonna do? Just try that. If you can just take a picture. Yeah. I don't want it to hit its head. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a big fish. Fish on. Something big. Yeah, yeah, it's it definitely doesn't look like a coho. No, no, no. This is you know my buddy my buddy caught a steelhead here yesterday. So might be a steelhead. But kind of fighting. Or, the a, lake big or brown. a big brown. Definitely kind of fighting like a lake. Staying low. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow, let's put him over here. Wow. That thing is big. You can put him down. That thing's huge. Beautiful. Right, you can leave him on the net if you don't mind. Yeah, no problem. Wow. This is 
huge. Where is it? It's a lake or a trout. Holy moly. Can, can I get a picture? Jesus. That was amazing. Carter, hurry. Can you take a, sure. a few pictures? Yeah. Oh, man. Wow. That thing's wow. huge. Oh, my God. Let's do this quick. Wow. Take a few with the city in the background. Okay. That's awesome. Woo. Oh, my God. That's awesome. Yeah, I got the service tower in there. That was amazing. This is just so fun. Jesus Ari Ariano is uh, an angler, uh, and I guess he has actually people following him on his YouTube channel. Hey Zeus, it's John Williams. This is um, WGN Radio. How are you today? Good, good. How are you? Thank Tell you for having me. Yeah, congratulations. I've never seen people catch such beautiful fish right there off the uh, off the banks of Lake Michigan. Oh my God! Yes, that was uh, it. Was an amazing day that day for sure. The Sun Times had a picture of you with uh, one fish, but you caught three different species that they were talking about. What did you pull in the other day? So that day, um, I got really lucky. I wasn't expecting to catch those three species. I was targeting coho salmon, which are in season right now. Um, but also, I got lucky and I pulled in a brown trout. And then shortly after that, I pulled in a lake trout. Now, the coho, they're, they're smaller fish, but the brown trout, I think it was roughly around 7 pounds, and then the laker was more around in the 15, 15-pound 15 range. <laughs> um, are those healthy fish? Are they tasty fish? Are they safe to eat? You know, they, they are safe to eat. Lake Michigan, surprisingly, is one of the cleanest waters out there. Um, you know, you can eat them on a daily basis. The larger fish, like that 15-pound um, lake trout, probably isn't, isn't the tastiest. But that coho salmon, people love to eat that coho salmon. It's a younger fish. The meat is uh, orange, and it tastes real good. Huh. Oh, so is it true, maybe like um, livestock, the older they get, the tougher the meat gets? Correct, yeah. It's not, yeah, it just doesn't taste as good. Um, so I was trying to figure out exactly where you were. Uh, I'm looking at the picture of you with this lake trout, this great big fish. It's about the size of half of your body. Uh, where are you pulling these in? That day I was by the planetarium, right next to the planetarium, between the aquarium and the planetarium. Okay, I appreciate you telling me that. I, I wasn't sure you were going to, Jesus. Oh, I, you know, the lakefront is vast. There's a lot of spaces. I mean, there's you can fish from many of the 10 harbors out there. Um, any of the harbors right now, if you go out there, you'd probably get lucky with a at least a trout. No kidding. So I guess that was my next question. Generally, up and down the lakeshore, say from the science and industry up north to the curve, there's fishing all you along know, the way? You know, I usually fish from like Montrose. I do Belmont, Diversity, North Avenue, then do Salbo, Monroe, and I go down all the way to 63rd and sometimes to 87th Street. But 63rd is usually as far as I go sometimes. And do you catch and release? Do you generally fillet these? What do you do? You know, 90% of the time I, I do release. Uh, some fish, if I know they're not going to make it, I'll, I'll keep them and I'll hand them to, you know, some, some of my friends. Um, sometimes, like in the fall, I catch these huge king salmon from shore. Um, and they can be a good eating fish and um if it's a female, I keep the, the spawn and use it for bait. No kidding. Um, no, I'm encouraged by that. Uh, does it make sense to ask you what you use for bait? What are, you, what are you putting on the end of your hook there? I do a lot of casting. I do crankbaits, uh, deep diving crankbaits, depending on the depth of the water. Um, I do spinner baits. Uh, that day I caught the coho trout. trout. And Laker, I was using a MEPS flying C spinner. 
it's a heavier spinner bait, so it rides lower in the water column. Mm-hmm. And then I was using like a pink uh, rooster tail. One last thing for you, Jesus. You said that um, actually this, uh, that Lake Michigan is one of the healthier lakes and that the fish are certainly edible. Um, is the fishing better these days? Can you describe it? If I went out there, would I get some bites? You know, I, if you have basic understanding of fishing, you can potentially get lucky. Um, it all depends on the season. Like right now, you can catch brown trout, steelhead, uh, coho, lakers. And then later on in the summer, you can catch like smallmouth bass, mm-hmm. perch, pike and carp if you like um and what about along the river is it it's good fishing on the chicago river oh uh, that's a great question because i do like fishing the river surprisingly there's a great um it's a great fishery right now um there's a lot of bass there's like smallmouth bass largemouth bass there's catfish i got surprised once and i got a walleye out of there um <laughs> there's yeah. There's a uh, crappie and bluegill. I mean, there's a lot of fish in the in the river. Mm-hmm. And as you know, you know the river's reverse, so it's cleaner by the lakefront because the water from the lake is being pushed in. So downtown river is really clean. Um, some people do eat the fish, but I tend to not. Like I said, I, I usually release all my fish. Jesus Ariano is uh, an angler who's uh, actually got a YouTube channel. If I want to watch you, where do I go? My channel is Jesus312 Fishing or Jesus312 Fishing. <laughs> and if you go on my channel, you can see all the species that I catch uh, by season. And you can definitely see what types of lures and, and you get hints of where I'm at. Yeah, yeah right. Jesus 312 Fishing on YouTube. Hey, congratulations, Jesus. Nice to talk to you. And uh, it's good to get the word that there's good, clean water and good, clean fish out there. I'm glad you joined us. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I mean, Chicago's an amazing place to fish. So go ahead and give it a try.